Alright, hello boys and girls, moms and dads, welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. This is 5th grade social studies, week number 30. Uh, we're going to be talking about interdependence and business operations in the United States. So when we're talking about interdependence, we're talking about how the United States is going to be dependent on other nations all around the world and how other nations around the world will be dependent on the United States. Well, what do we mean by that? So we're talking in terms of labor. So let's think in terms of labor, for example. So the United States is going to be in need of skilled professionals to work in many industries, such as oil and gas, for example, communication and technology. Well, the United States can produce all the skilled professionals it needs to work in all these industries. So we are going to be dependent on other people, all the nations from around the world to supply us labor to work in these industries. Well, that is an example of interdependence. Another way that we are interdependent on other parties all around the world is going to be through the use of the Internet. So the United States is going to be needing information and data that are generated from other parts of the world. And um, the United States is going to be shipping information and data to other parts of the world as well for their use through social media, through Facebook, through Google. And all of this cannot work if we do not have the Internet. Well, another area in which the United States is going to be dependent on other parts of the world will be in terms of agriculture. So U.S. farmers ship their produce to other nations. We export our foods to other nations and in turn we import foods from other nations as well. So there is some kind of independence or there is some kind of interdependence uh, from that regard. What about transportation? So, well, we build airplanes here, we manufacture cars, and cars are going to be shipped to other nations. And sometimes other nations ship their cars to the United States. So as you can see that the world right now is a global village. Literally, things are being transported, exported outside the country, imported into the country, because the world is just a big global village right now. And because of that, business operations, um, even though are based on a free enterprise or market economy, will be affected by these interdependencies. So businesses are going to be affected by supply and demand, which are uh, pretty much affected by the interrelatedness um, across the globe of the United States with other nations all around the world. And another thing to realize is that businesses can exist for profit purposes and for not-for-profit purposes like charitable organizations. Uh, the cost of production and subsequent selling price of products uh, will affect the profit of most businesses. Another thing that can affect profit is uh, government regulations of taxes, which may affect profit as well. And all these factor into the ways businesses operate in the United States. So to capture all these different impacts on the United States economy or United, United States businesses, for example, companies use something called the income statement which I believe you remembered we talked about in fourth grade and third grade. So let's take this example. So a company sells books for a living. So what factors can affect its operations? Well, factors like the cost of production, publishing cost and printing cost will definitely affect the selling price. What about demand? If there is no demand for the product, the company may be forced to lower the selling price to attract more buyers. Regulation. If the government hikes taxes, uh, the company may increase sale price to preserve profit. What about the selling price as well? So based on business goals and the factors talked about, the company then sets its selling price for the product. And examples of individuals or entrepreneurs who have started successful businesses in America, people like Sam Walton of Walmart, Bill Gates of Microsoft or Elon Musk of Tesla. So let's take a look at the income statement for example for company ABC. The income statement is going to be essentially divided into two major categories even though it can get more complex than that. But as I'm showing you right now on the screen you are going to see a section called revenues, 
and another section called expenses. Now in the revenue category there can be different kinds of revenues which will talk about the inflows that the company is getting. So inflows in terms of sales, inflows in terms of uh, things that can, have, that can affect the inflows as well like discounts, um, like uh, returns and allowances. All of that will be in the revenue or the income revenue or the inflow section of the income statement now uh, revenue that will be that will be typically inflow will be uh, put here in the credit column so anytime there's an inflow you are going to have that inserted into the credit section of the income statement if there's an outflow it's going to be included in the left side, on the left side, which is the debit column of the income statement. So, for example, take a look over here. So, you got book sales. So, if you were to sell books and you made $120,000 from books, well, you are going to journal that here on the credit side of the income statement. So, this is fundamental accounting principles right in here. When you get into high school or potentially college, you are going to delve deeper into making all this work for you but just at an elementary level understand the structure of the income statement of a typical US business alright so uh, you're gonna see book sales in here for example $120,000 uh, they had some returns like on the debit side of things like $10,000 they gave some discounts to about $1,000 so net sales will be $120,000 minus $10,000 minus $1,000 and that's going to be equivalent to $109,000. Then there's this little section over here called the cost of goods sold which is going to be like the manufacturing cost for example. So like the publishing cost of the books. Well that's going to be on the debit side of things. So they have $29,000 over here. So then you have gross profit which gross profit is going to be net sales minus cost of goods sold, goods sold which is going to be equivalent to $109,000 minus $29,000 in this case is going to be $80,000 then you are going to flow straight into the second section of the income statement which is going to be the operating expenses in the operating expenses section of it you are going to see things like selling expenses administrative expenses and then you are going to see under the operating expenses things like website expense and legal expense and supplies and utilities and the total of it will be over here for you. Administrative expenses will be things like salary, utilities expenses and insurance expenses and the total administrative expense administrative expenses will be over here for you. So total operating expenses will be a combination of total administrative expenses and selling expenses and we have it over here as well. So what about income? So the whole idea of trying to put an income statement together is so I can realize or show income. Well, how do we do that? Well, income is going to be equivalent to uh, taking the total operating expenses away from gross profit. All right. So the gross profit was $80,000 operating expenses was $35,000 well 80 minus 35 is going to give me $45,000 and then there may be additional things like taxes and uh, maybe additional expenses like relating to debts and all of that well that's going to come down to give you net income over here when you remove all of that from from it so that's just a little way which I believe was studied in fourth grade as well and um, you're welcome to remember this particular exercise over there. Alright, fun fact of the day. Matthew chapter 16 verse 26. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33. Alright, in all business operations it's important that we keep our souls as well. But how do we do that? Make God your business partner in all that you do. Alright, um, so that's all I've got for you today boys and girls. Remember God cares about you and so do we. Till next time, bye bye. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born.